at it again, and we've got a story here that may and should, I, say, I should say it should, not may, it should anger you, okay? It should make you quite angry. Like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Make sure you're following me on social media too. All of those links are down below. And with that being said, let's dive in. Woke education is having a chilling effect on free speech. A good chunk of conservative college students say they self-censor their views inside and outside of the classroom out of fear of damaging their reputation. 63% of students overall fear speaking their minds could have a damaging impact. And 42% of conservative students report that they often feel uncomfortable speaking freely. 63% fear speaking out. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And 42% uh, of students are nervous to speak freely. While on the left, oh, say anything and everything. We just checked out a video yesterday where, where one, one of the leftist students told uh, the, the, the guy there to um, pine box himself. If you know what I mean. I'm, I'm being PG here, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm being a little vague, but you guys know what a pine box is. Yeah, just told him to pine box himself. Oh, yeah, just yell it out. And yet, Republican students can't even speak their mind. And yet, leftist folks say some of the things Republicans say is violence. But a leftist student can yell to pine box yourself and that's not considered I would argue that is and I think people on the right should scream that and act offended and yell and scream and complain to some of these universities play the same game that the left plays and quick question guys quick question and be honest with me okay be honest with me am I delusional for advocating for the right to play the game? Let me know in the comment section. Because I, I, I see a lot of this crap going on. And I'm like, yo, just give it back to them. It would end the whole thing. Am I wrong? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know. Please talk to me. And just this week, Stanford tries to eliminate harmful language by banning offensive words yeah. like American. Mm -hmm. But we have an amazing update on that. The Woke College is walking back their idiotic speech code and updating their website with, quote, to be very clear, not only is the use of the term American not banned at Stanford, mm -hmm. it is absolutely welcomed. So, Jessica, I think actually conservatives hiding their political perspective. And that is what I was getting. And that's what I'm getting at when I say play the game, play the same game that they play. Because if, 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 you know, someone on the right or, you know, folks on the right had said something like that, like, hey, you can't use, you know, whatever language. You can't use uh, Latinx. Everybody on the left would. <laughs> Stanford came out and made an ignorant statement. American. Some folks on the right had something to say about it. And you know what happened? It changed. I feel like I see a lot of folks on the right just turn the other cheek. You know what? Just gonna turn the other cheek. You know, it's, and, and I've said this before, it's like, it's like the right, you know, is on their own property, right? The right is on, we're on our own property. And the left is encroaching on said property. And I see a lot of folks on the right say, hey, 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 hey. Hey, get off my property. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. I don't want any issues. I'm, matter of fact, I'm going back up myself. But don't you take a step further. You know what the left does? And the right, hey, 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 hey. Stay, stay back there. Stay, I don't want no. I'm going to scoot back. You know what the left does again? They just keep stepping closer and closer and closer. And the right, we're all, you know, hey, hey, we're going to be paid. You know, hey, hey, hey. Turn another. And I, 
just in, 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 it's in a variety of different ways in a variety of different ways it's not just like physically I, I, I don't mean like physically harming anybody but just I was just giving you a, a an actual visual of what I what I mean uh when when I'm seeing some of this stuff and, and it's just like stand your ground play the same game that they play oh oh you want to encroach okay well I'm gonna step closer too not in a harmful manner but I'm going to play the same game that you play. You want to encroach on my property? Oh, I'm about to go to yours. And I'm going, how you doing? Oh, me on your property is violence? Well, hello there. You know, not in a harmful manner, right? We don't want to physically harm anybody. I want to make that clear before somebody twists my words. We don't want to physically harm anybody. I'm not promoting any type of violence of any sort. But... In situations like this, I'm 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 happy to hear about people uh, uh, stopping the woke madness at Stanford. You can't even say American, really, really. It's it's stuff like that that I I, I wouldn't have been surprised if you know people were completely silent on. It. And I'm happy, so so happy that people on the right said, "Nah, I ain't backing up." I said, "Get off my property," you know, kind of situation. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Anyway, uh, let me know if you guys agree, disagree. If you think I'm some type of idiot for that. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you probably think I'm a total idiot. But hey, let me know. Does on college campuses, if they're not politically involved, is actually not something new. Yeah. What is new is it's one thing to write a paper from a different perspective in a class and to argue with a professor. But if you're having to do that outside of the classroom among your peers, that's a different thing. I could imagine it being a very tough environment to do that, to just even with, it's like and a part of five. <laughs> it's a very tough environment. Um, no, because part of the problem is also that everyone just talks about politics all the time. It wasn't that way even when we went to college, which wasn't that long ago. No. You know, I, everyone kind of loosely knew where your politics lay, but you had other stuff to talk about, whether pop culture stuff, relation, whatever it is. And now it's infiltrated, I feel like, every, almost every aspect of our lives. And that's what makes it so much harder then for people to be able to express themselves. Because you used to be able to go to a party, see a cute girl, you go up to her, talk to her. Now she's going to say something like, oh, you know, are you participating in X, Y, or Z activity? And then it all comes out and it's a problem. Yeah. Trump really was a line in the sand for a lot for a lot of people, and even for some Republicans who just couldn't get on board with this, right? It's not you know, traditional conservatism, um, to put it nicely. Um, I think it's a real shame, and I think it's important that people do spend time with folks who don't think the same as them, even if it makes you sure of your beliefs. Um, so I, I hate this. Judge, isn't, aren't college campuses supposed to be a place of exchanging ideas, debating, Jeez. learning how to defend yeah. your own values? You can't do that if everybody's censoring themselves. Yeah, Max. well, you know, it started with uh, Berkeley being supposedly the birthplace of free speech until about six years ago when conservatives dared to go to Berkeley to speak. And then it was like, you cannot speak. We will burn down Berkeley and we will smash every, every, uh, every window, every door. Uh, but the truth is... And they should all be arrested and jailed and charged and have to pay fines and, fix all, and pay to fix all the damage that they caused. Like, come on. Like, stop, stop with this... This madness, man, come on. It's that um, it, 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 the kids are self-censoring for good reasons. They know that they're going to be punished by their peers. They know they're going to be punished and, and not given good grades by their professors. Um, and I think they understand better than a lot of people think that it's not the place for dialogue. And it requires that when someone goes to college that they have a really strong moral core and know who they are or they're going to be swayed right into the nonsensical, politically correct way of thinking and the political, the only political ideology that you're allowed to express. Right, Sean, I've spent some time on college campuses yes, as a have. speaker are being protested by rowdy college students. But I get questions from parents all the time about how to prepare their conservative kids for school. You have lots of conservative kids. Some of them have been through college, and they've been active as conservatives they on have. their campuses. Well, I've learned the lesson that um, when I pay for school, I'm going to help pick the school my kids go to. I'm not going to send them to these woke schools because they professionalize indoctrinating your children, mm -hmm. um, and they're very good at it, and I, I can lose my own kids, so I try to send them now. I have so many kids, I can get it wrong and then get it right <laughs> later. Um, but, but I think it's important to note that all these professors are very liberal. You don't have conservative professors on campus, and Judge, you're right. They're concerned about being 
being, you know, punished, whether it's their grades, they're, they're, they could be, you know, canceled online, they could be kicked out of college for what they say. And I think it's great when you have a, you know, a well-informed young conservative debating a teacher, that can inspire other kids to go, hey, really good point. I'm with this guy, not the teacher. That's a great thing. But I mean, Absolutely. I think this, if you look at a threat to democracy, it's these universities that are a threat to democracy. 62% mm -hmm. of college students think it's acceptable to shut down a speaker by yelling at them. 20% yeah. think that they can use violence yep. to shut down speech. This is crazy town for mm -hmm. all of us who used to go to school back, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago. Well, and it's like the college campus atmosphere has spilled out into all sectors of society, Jimmy. But uh -huh. as the comedian yes. at the table tonight, let me say this: yeah. campus is the worst place for comedians to go because everybody's so offended. This is the irony, and I don't mean to make this all about me or my stand-up comedy career, which you can watch on Fox's All American New Year on December the 31st. But the most seminal comedy special of my youth was called Carlin on Campus. Mm -hmm. yep. And George Carlin recorded an hour special at a series of universities because it was so risque at the time. You could only say stuff like this at colleges. So we've devolved that much in terms of colleges being bastions of free speech. Carlin on Campus today would be called Carlin on Fire because they would burn down mm -hmm. the whole university as they do to guys like you. And I'm so amazed <laughs> to add to that that we're putting such an emphasis on words in places like Stanford where they have so many. I mean, you can't walk down the street in California without getting attacked by a homeless person, or as they call them in Stanford, a free-range people. But the point is, we're fighting the wrong battles. That's yeah. the point. V jokes are not violent. Speech is not violence. I'm an ex-cab driver. You never got punched in the head and said, thank God that wasn't a joke. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what we're getting wrong. Facts. Facts. Um, <clears throat> it's... A classic example of the left accusing the right of what the left is actually doing or what the left has actually done. Classic, classic example of it. Right. Um, like you said, 20 percent of students think they can use actual violence to stop someone from speaking. But the right is the violent ones. What? Really? The left is the reason why some of these comedians have to go on stage with security or go on stage with, you know, uh, uh, some type of protection. It's the left, not the right. But the right is violent, though. The right, they're, 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 they're the real violent guys and gals. Make that make any type of sense. You can't. I bet you can't. <laughs> it's just like, come on. All of this stuff is, is, I mean, it's telegraphed. You, you can see it coming from a mile away. It's been said over and over and over again, and they just continually repeat it until it's just like ingrained in these leftist kids' brains. And it's just like, it could be easy to stop it. If we had good leadership that stood up, that had some cojones, we could end this. We could end it. But we don't have great leadership in the Republican Party. I'm, I mean, we, we just don't. We just don't. The, the, these, these guys suck. They suck. I mean, I, I'm just going to put it blunt, you know. Um, I, I believe they're terrible. And uh, someone like Mitch, his approval rating shows it. 7% approval rating? <laughs> Go look at his Twitter. Go look at Mitch. Go look at Mitch McConnell's Twitter account. <laughs> It's no better than Joe's. <laughs> Joe is always getting getting uh, tweets uh, under you know replies to his tweets that say resign, <laughs> you know, or stuff stuff like that. Same thing with Mitch. Come on, I I, I think I think we need some um, some better leadership, possibly even some younger folks that uh, you know can combat some of this new age kind of stuff i don't know i don't care honestly who it is i i just want somebody that's going to stand up for us that's not going to be a rhino in the night all right but that's just my humble opinion about it all and this college campus stuff is just absolutely ridiculous and i don't, I don't know why this is even being allowed it's just absolutely sickening and disgusting that you have you know republican students who who can't even speak out can't even speak out and, 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 you know, speak their mind. But you have a bunch of leftist students 
that, you know, have the mindset, if we don't like who it is that's coming to speak on our campus, we can use violence. Really? Really? Anyway, like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and uh, y'all let me know what you thought about this one too. Peace and love. I'm out.